29 minutes late, mate. <laughs> This is a baby one. You can actually get massive ones. So you can't take it. I got it. It's Hey guys, welcome to a, a new episode. Uh, we did a massive drive yesterday, and now Maeve's driving. Yeah, give Anne a rest. So where did we drive from, darling? So, uh, where were we? God, I can't remember. <laughs> Early Beach, mate. That's right, it's Bush. <laughs> uh, we drove from Early Beach right down to 1770 Agnes Waters. We're staying at Agnes Waters, and we're currently in 1770. So, around that area, same, same. Same, same bit different, but um, yeah, <coughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's school holidays, so it's really busy here. Um, but it is a beautiful little spot. Um, we are going snorkeling tomorrow, so we've booked another snorkeling tour um, out to Lady Musgrave Island. We were going to do a flight to Lady Elliot, but they were all booked out, and yeah. no one's car's broken down or anything like that. So <laughs> we can't um, take we can, their place. Can't take their place at the moment. But um, yeah, hopefully we can bring you some awesome footage. We've just uh, spotted a pot of dolphins uh, that we got on the drone. So we'll whack that one in and show you what the dolphins look like from the air. There was a mum and her um, calf and uh, a couple of maybe adolescent dolphins having a great time. So hopefully that looks good in the footage and hopefully we bring you lots of turtle footage from Lady Musgrave. Hey guys, so we just had this lunch, <laughs> this place called Getaway, and we're like fatties, like <laughs> we smashed all the food, yeah. and then a um, cheesecake, especially yeah. maybe she should have seen it go, just <laughs> like a horse. Anyway, we're at a place called the Paperbark Forest now, um, oh there's people everywhere, let's see how Hold we go. Back. So it's a gruelling 400 metre grade 3 track, I don't know where the Mavo's going to make it. <laughs> She's got her thongs on. <sighs> At least it's easy. And it looks kind of cool. It is really cool. I don't know, what if you miss the photo of a lifetime? Maybe here you go, mate. Carry my I'll camera. wait here for you. Here she comes. Ready to do the walk. Ready. There's See? less people now. Now it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Until the next carload of kids come. Very tame for uh, our standard of hike, but uh, it's actually really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'll be in trouble for talking this <laughs> We've got some cool little stepping stones here. I think I need one of these stairs. Feel me, don't feel me.
Oh, good. I can feel the noises in my ankles. Some hairy ones. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so apparently this forest is the home of the world's biggest cockroach, which weighs up to 35 grams and measures about 8 centimetres long and lives up to 10 years. That's hardcore. Um, they take 3 to 4 years to mature, it's just like a small dog basically. Um, yeah, go the giant cockroach. Yeah. We've got a few stripy kangaroos here. Someone's getting out to take photos of the balls. Pretty bad. Alright, we're just going along Deepwater National Park. Didn't realise it was a full on four wheel drive trip, but you know. Barry loves it. Mate. Barry loves it. Running uh, road road tire pressures at the moment, so oh, that's right now too. We have an air down. It's pretty pretty firm underneath. Fair fair bit of rain through here yesterday, so we'll air down when we need to. Probably have to dig myself out. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the shoes. No, I'll just sit in the car and wait for you to do that. <laughs> spotted a kingfisher apparently. Just made me stop in the middle of a four-wheel drive track, hopefully no cars come. I can't see it, but anyway. I got it. <laughs> a blue kingfisher. You're gonna have to uh, insert it into the video after this <laughs> comment. on a snorkeling safari to Lady Musgrave Island. Hopefully we see turtles because it's bloody early. It is early.
<laughs> Just realised it's Mabo's <laughs> tops on the inside out. I'll Come to the men's, here. mate. Do it here, ready? Okay. <clears throat> Jeez, what a lovely morning. There we go. 29 minutes late, mate. <laughs> Here we go, we've got yeah. Maybag on the glass bottom boat. So we are going to Lady Musgrave Island. Check it out, look at all the uh, coral. Yeah, it's not even really sand, it's just broken down coral. It looks, it looks like, like sand a million bones. from a distance, but. Sorry. Look at it all. These look like the camping group. Sure is, mate. All right, there is a green zone for fishing. There you go. <clears throat> So the first bird you can see on the right, oh, yeah. on the top of the branches, they are the Nori Turn. At Nottington? Nori Turn. Nori Turn. N-O-D-D-Y-T-U-R-N. Lady Musgrove Island is in the Bunker group of islands and it has a unique relationship between the forest and the birds nesting in them. The birds are known as the black noddy terns and the trees are persona trees. Interestingly enough, the noddies migrate from PNG and they fly non-stop and direct to the bunker group because of the persona trees. A colony of some 40,000 noddy birds visit, nest and fish around the area. The birds arrive between late August to May each year. Usually coinciding with the nesting of the birds the trees grow seeds and the seed pods grow into clusters with black sticky sappy seeds. When the birds are nesting they get stuck up in the sticky seed pods and they cannot get them off and at this stage they cannot fly or fish for food and in turn they die. Their remains fertilize the soil though and in turn, the broad leaves of the persona make excellent nesting sites for the birds. So there is a delicate balance between life of the birds and the life of the trees. One needs the other to survive. The birds return every year for the leaves, even though they may die from the seeds. Also, um, keep an eye on here because we saw a well breaching. So now it's quite mm. often that we see a well breaching from the island, which is pretty cool. And we in the high tide, it's perfect to spot some reef sharks from the shore. Okay. What do you think, Captain? It's beautiful. Like untouched, beauty still. <laughs> so actually, 
actually you can see the parrot fish over there when you're gonna snorkel. Uh, you can see there will uh, like actually <laughs> the coral that they're eating, so you can oh. see like just a mark. So those islands over there used to be an island and they were shelled as target practice by the US Marines and the Australian Navy that were over here and so they bombed them so hard that the uh, middle of the island fell away and there's two islands. Um, you can also still find artillery shells over there um, according to our guide found one last week so yeah. Times yeah, look, this is what you can find on here, and there, you, this is a baby one. You can actually get a massive one, but you can't take them. Yeah. Check our pockets before we leave. Here comes a glass bottom boat with another load of people. They're ready to go for back to the boat for a bit of a snorkel. So the whole island is made of coral, effectively. Coral and silt from the broken down shells. And over the millions probably of years, it's slowly built up and up and up and up and uh, turned into Lady Musgrave Island. The trees on the island, there's no, there's no water source on the island, but they've got really big tap roots which go into the uh, water plate underneath the island, probably about 10, 15 metres down. Uh, and also obviously the rainwater that they get here quite frequently is enough to sustain the, uh, the tree life, which encourages the bird life. And it all comes, and there's a navy, and it all comes together. It's pretty cool actually. Completely made of shells and coral. Look at that, look at that. It's a rock mate, looks like a rock. Coral, uh, oh, coal. A coral. Yeah. That might be a seed actually. Maybe. Trees are gonna have seeds. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's diving in the green. This is some fish. Here it comes. There we go. Oh, there he is. Come off the island, Mavo's getting ready. <laughs> so we've got a turtle cleaning station bombing over here, which is one of our extremes. And we've got it's not quite a bombing because it's attached to the roof, but it looks like a bombing. And then we've got another one over here.
All right, so here we are, sitting on the side <laughs> of the road in the pouring, pouring rain uh, on our way to Bundaberg. We thought we would come back and wrap up our snorkeling experience and kind of talk through how it compares because we've done a few snorkeling five adventures. Or six now. Yeah. So, um, what do you think, Mavo? Um, <clears throat> awesome, beautiful, amazing. Want to go back? So want to go back. Definitely going to Lady Elliot because the snorkeling was so good. I was very impressed. That's what I think. Wow. She, uh, yeah, clearly had a good time. <laughs> I thought it was good. Um, I, I don't think it was as good as Ningaloo Reef, but then we've been very lucky and blessed to be able to have been to all of these amazing places in Australia. <laughs>